hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is an unreal process has crashed ue runtime so if you're receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart steam so just go to steam and then click on exit and then relaunch steam and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and then check next step is to set steam to offline and then back to online so go to steam and then you can click on go offline and then again go to steam and then click on go online and then you have to relaunch the game you have to close the game and then go offline then go online and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so you have to download this x86 and x64 version so click on x86 now run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the repair complete or installation complete once both installed then restart it be restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to launch using start protected game exe file now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then you can make a double click on start protected game make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work the next step is to rename or delete this sl pcl.dll file but before that you can create a backup first now for this you can go to this location so make a right click on the game and then select manage now click on browse local files and then go to steam apps common then once you open the game folder then open the engine folder now open the plugins folder now open marketplace streamline core binaries with third party win64 and here you can see slpcl.dll file so before you rename or delete it copy this file create a backup once you have a backup created now you can go back to the location and then you can make a right click you can delete it you already have a backup so if you face any problem you can always put the file back so you can delete it and then launch the game or you can even rename it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so for this if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on big defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then you can open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed to c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder now select all the exe files select this runtime client and then click on add and allow app browse all apps select this start protected game exe file click on open now click on browse all apps and then open this runtime folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box go to system and security go to windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder So open the game folder and then select all the exe file. 
Again, allow, allow another app, click on browse, select this exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, this is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then open runtime binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, open this runtime, binaries, win64. Over here, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click and then go to properties and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, then put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to run this file so go to the, this location so again make a right click on the game exe file manage browse local files and then open this rematch then go to engine folder then go to extras folder open this reddish folder enus folder here you can see this file make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then put a check over here and then install and let the installation complete now once this is installed, you have to relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Now once you open the game folder, select the game exe file, open this runtime, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on the game, select high performance over here. And you will see your graphic card over here. So select your graphic card and then you can do the same thing with the first exe file and then you can check. Next step is to delete the config folder. Now before you delete the config fo folder, let me inform you, all saved settings will be lost. So for this, you can open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open the app data folder, open the local folder. Here you can see runtime folder, open this folder, saved folder. And over here you can see that config folder. You can make a right click and delete this folder and then you can check. Still not working, then rename the save game files. Now when you rename the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first and then you can rename the save game folder. Go to the same location and then go back over here. 
run time you can copy this folder paste it to the desktop so once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder make a right click and then click on rename and then once you rename the folder now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties go to the general tab in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check still not working you can even try dash dx12 then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step now the next step is to turn off or turn on vpn so if you're using vpn you can just turn it off or you can close vpn and then check if if you're not using vpn if it is already off you can turn on the vpn and then check so it might work for you next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available you can switch to different network and then you can check now once you switch to different network now you can check you can even switch to mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and turn on the hotspot and then over here you can connect to your mobile network your cell phone network over here and then you can check you can even use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and um, if you have a ethernet cable you can just connect it uh, use the wired connection and then check next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here so copy this command so copy this first command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command so run all these commands one by one and once this is complete now restart it can be and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update over here so click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart you can play and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 two four five seven six and maximum size is three into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 
into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then check. If that does not work. Uh, now if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings, turn off Nvidia overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game and then after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to a different drive like D drive or, or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.